The temple was probably one of the most magnificent and one of the largest structures of the ancient world. It was truly amazing. And many Jews considered it invincible. But Jesus predicted its complete destruction more than 40 years before it actually happened. Uh, I'm Amy, and uh, I'm here at the lakes, and today we're taking a look at Mark chapter 13, and it starts off like this. As he was leaving the temple, one of the, his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. Do you see these great buildings? replied Jesus. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. Jesus predicted the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem long before it happened. And as a matter of fact, he had the most accurate prediction because in verse 30, he says, that it will happen, certainly happen, before this generation has passed away. The temple was completely destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans. But here's the thing. When you're reading through Mark chapter 13, I'm guessing you will have a question about what exactly Jesus is talking about. Because it's clear that he has in mind the destruction of the temple when he begins the chapter. But when you get down to verse 31 or verse 24, you, there's some confusion that might come into play. Uh, and 32 says this. Not, no one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be on alert. And then in 24, he had said, but in those days, following that distress. So it almost seems like Jesus then is shifting his attention, not just from the immediate destruction of the temple, but to a future end of the age. And that is, in fact, what's going on. Both, Jesus is talking about both the destruction of Jerusalem and the future end of the age in one chapter here in Mark. Uh, Craig Keener puts it this way. In biblical prophets, nearer judgments are sometimes, they sometimes prefigure more distant ones. And so Jesus is able to biblically speak both about the coming soon destruction of the temple in Jerusalem and the more distant future coming of his return. And so Jesus is going back and forth in this chapter about both of these future events. So since we live between these prophecies, the destruction of Jerusalem has already occurred and the coming, the second coming of Jesus has not yet occurred, how do we live? Well, Jesus reminds us in verse 32 that we are to, or verse 33, that we are to be on guard and to be alert as we do not know when the time will come. We can rest assured that as sure as Jesus's prophecy that the temple would be destroyed came to pass, that his future coming will also come to pass. Now, we don't know when it will happen but we can be sure that it will. And when it does, we want to be ready. We want to be alert. We don't want to be the one who falls asleep in the waiting. So let's pay attention and let us continue in the good works that Jesus has planned for us until the day in which he arrives. Mm -hmm.